My name's Lana, I'm a game developer and I make independent games. I also stream the process while I'm working uh, live on the internet. The name Lana Lux comes from the long dynasty of the Lux family. <laughs> After trying all kinds of things and learning what was important to me, I realized that game development encompasses so many of them. It's bringing together storytelling and art and audio design. There's so many aspects of it and I really love it. The game I'm working on now is called Strain. It's a apocalyptic survival game that takes place in a city. You have to go and uh, find supplies, scavenge for resources, whether you're going into a empty, abandoned restaurant to find food or fight off other people who might be aggressive because they want what you're trying to get. The main point is to survive as long as possible. Strain is based in Toronto. It really does feel like the city is a character. I've seen and experienced so many interesting things walking through the city and I love to try to capture some of those things and put them into the game so they can be shared with others. Making a game by yourself is a huge undertaking. I cannot overstate that. It is so much work. There's a lot that goes into every part of that game, even the, the programming, the music, the art, the branching storylines, all of it has so much to it. GitHub is something that I use every day to back up my game. So having a place to store my game on the cloud means that my house could burn down and the next day I could be back up and running. When I'm programming, I use an IDE, an integrated development environment. I use two different ones. I have VS Code and I have Visual Studio. VS Code will underline something if I've typed it wrong, which happens a lot. So having that underline is such a lifesaver. If I'm trying to tackle something that's a little bit more complex, I'll open up Visual Studio. I really like Unity because it uses C Sharp. It's built on .NET. There's a component system that makes it really easy to build chunks of things and put them onto different game objects. Using PlayFab allows you to log in from different platforms. You can start playing your game on your computer, but then you might be waiting for the bus and you can log on on your phone and pick up right where you left off. And PlayFab really allows you to do that easily without having to do the complex backend stuff. Games are being made on the cloud to be played on the cloud. The heavy lifting of the, what's going on in the game is done remotely on another computer. The ID at Azure, they, they really try to help, especially indie devs, getting into this, providing them with the right educational material, getting them connected to the right people to get help. So it means I can start thinking about making uh, cloud games in the future myself. I started streaming just some basic game development stuff that I was doing and Eventually there was one person in the chat. It was a number of months before there was a few people in there and we had so much to talk about, whether it was game development or programming or 3D art. And just with a few people, it felt like there was this very small community starting. And the more I did it, the more people joined that community. Thank you very much. I hope you guys had a nice day yesterday. One thing that's really great about the community is that we're able to help each other learn and grow. And because I'm streaming, people come in with the same question quite a lot. So what I like to do is, is take the time to make a little video where I can explain something that I know my experience might be helpful for others who are learning. To be honest, if I'm on my computer, I'm usually streaming. <laughs> I usually only stop streaming to like get up to like make dinner or if I'm sleeping, I'm not streaming. I see myself making games far into the future. All of the cool technologies that are coming into the hands of indie developers. The ideas I have to make experiences are limitless and endless. And I feel like games have only just scratched the surface of what they could be.